ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to D20 Live's Ravenloft Long Game, also known as The Tribe. We are in episode 13, if I am not mistaken. We've gone a little bit into overtime, actually. Yes. Yes, but it's not about me. It's about my players. And when my players introduce themselves, their characters, and I will get back to I it. I started last time. I started, okay. I am back. This is Devin, starting back as Corvathialan Wilder. We're in the home stretch. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, I am Tom, and I am playing Kunwan, the um, half-giant gladiator. My name is Jordan. I'm playing Ridran Aldru, our wizard. And I'm Scott. I'm playing Corpa Quinn, our slayer. We have something to get to. Yes, mm. you do. So we're also, by the way, you're all level 9, by the way. Yes, we're still 9. Yes. Now, we're last... Okay. We left off, if I'm not mistaken, uh -oh. uh, after your dead, zombified... Former tribesman. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's we have a lot of stuff that happens here that's very convoluted. Before he died, he was able to tell you, tip you off at uh, uh, by at this tower that you are currently in, and he instructed you make your way up to it. Right. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. You have made your way up to it, and it has a very unique stasio thrumming. I don't know if that's statico. That. Statico is it statico? Yeah, uh, statico. Statico. Yeah. yeah. I've learned a word and how to pronounce it. Mm. This is going to be a hell of a freaking game. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to my actual introduction. Staccato? Staccato? I don't know. I'm educated by wolves. I was educated in a barn in Barry. We here in the Great White North often disagree with our southern neighbors about how to pronounce words. Yeah, true. So, true. Well, as we left off, you four were in the tallest tower of Ravenloft, having just discovered its organic qualities. In, uh, in the tower, the team was confronted by your former tribe members, Castor and Darren. However, the tribe has a new ally, a bewitched golem controlled by Ridrin. Yeah. After debating the rules of said golem seizing, I mean, the using the golem thing. to slay Darren, Strahd regains control of the construct with a very concerning grinding of stone. The players find themselves to a face to face with a very angry golem. Also, the idiot's got a sunblade. Yay! Yay! This guy. Yes. So, king of the morons. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, the you have a four-armed iron okay, golem so in front of you. Uh, he has put down Arena because he was killing Darren and yep. smacking his spine in half and hucking him off. Yep. And he proceeded to give you both thumbs up. His eyes flashed red and they did this. And you're almost certain you can hear Strahd <laughs> laughing his ass off. Question we, for the GM. Yes. Uh, what is our marching order, just to confirm? Oh, of course. Uh, going by the logic that would dictate, it would have said that Kunwan was going first. Okay. Yep. Uh, followed by Korvath. Okay. Then it would have been the Iron Golem. Yep. Uh, then it would have been Ridrin Aldru. Yep. And then good old Cor Corbaquin, uh filling up the rear. Uh, of course, Irena is right next to good old Ridrin. Yep. Because I think the Golem was carrying both of them at the, at at the time. time. Yeah, yes. At one time. It's because we're both liabilities. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. what was Shut up, Devin. <laughs> what with him... What with him be? What with you being the casting battery and Arena being the object of Strahd's affection? Yeah. Sorry. Look up at the golem. Um, we Got might have take a, care of this. Yeah, we might have a problem. You you do not have that kind of time. Right. He is immediately bringing his weapons forward to ready for a and fight. I, I would feel the control being lost. It was stolen from you. Very like we we with, a, a problem, like... with an evil laugh in the psionic sphere. So, so you, here, like, we may have a problem. I'm like, no, we definitely have a problem. I slap the golem and use mind thrust to push him off the side. Go ahead and roll. Please. Let me get the golem stats up. <laughs> like, we have a problem? We have a problem. Boom! Gravity! Gravity. Gravity. Very definitely have a problem. Okay. That, do I get an attack of opportunity to, to uh, stop No, it's, it's a will negate um, oh, both okay. the push effect and halves the damage. No, does it... No, that's a psionic attack, not it's a magical a, one, which means I don't... My one, resistance yeah. doesn't work against it. Nope. Nope. Or, yep. Or, yep. Nope. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because you yeah. marshal your own will through your body, not... Yep. You, not Wiggle your fingers and say magic words, so... Cool. What okay. is the will save of an iron golem? A fucking joke. Please continue. <laughs> That's why okay. it's a golem. All right, uh, no, so, I, so I, I cast it. I use it on my, as my uh, base level of... Uh, we'll just do four, because I need to save some stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be four D10. Uh, but I need to actually roll my percentile and see... Uh, 94, I'm fine. Okay. So in a rare... In a controlled manner, I... Panicked, slap the t uh, slap against it like <laughs> <My> control. <panicked. laughs> Charge with energy. Thank you. The four d ten. How do you panic in a controlled fashion? Uh, it it means I don't Theory lose of control. The <laughs> <laughs> Very okay. 
Uh, nine, ten, nineteen. He laughs like Mickey Mouse. That's how. Uh, Twenty-five. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so you don't. Not, that's nineteen. A, that's a seven. So that's 19. twenty-six. 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 Math. Uh, so twenty-six force damage. Uh, pushed back. Uh, forty feet because it's wow. ten, ten, ten oh, feet. Christ. Ten feet per manifesto level. Uh, cool. What's the will save? Uh, the will save would be uh, the for a thir- for the eighteen. I rolled a ten. <laughs> Like, so you just you shunt this iron golem, and he falls forty feet because you are up in the second tier of Castle Ravenloft, which is it's forty feet per floor. He shoots straight down. That is that much in damage, which is of course four d six. I'm not worried about the golem so much as rest in peace, whatever the fuck is down there. Down there. It was Darren. Oh. <laughs> so the golem slams into the ground. Darren Jelly bits of play, and he, you just see Darren. Because he is a vampire and he's starting to regenerate and use his fast healing to come back. And he looks, you just see him <laughs> lifting up slowly, looking up as this iron golem comes oh, down. Dude. And you just see, you see this iron golem slam into him and paste him. And he just, it's unusual because you've never seen a vampire die before. Um, but when vampires die, they turn completely to fog. Oh, fog. To, okay. uh, to mist. Right. Okay. And he just cool. goes... Poof. <laughs> Oh, look, he landed on a dainty little cloud. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the psychic scream is heard throughout all of uh, Barovia. Yeet. Uh, <laughs> Yeet. Where is my notebook? I have lost track of it completely. Exactly. Oh, here. Uh, okay, so there. that's five. Minutes. Now, the, however, my cutscene is not done. For the no. Iron Golem, despite taking a respectable amount of damage, sits up. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> well, yeah, and he is—he's coming back up. He just dropped the equivalent of a goddamn bus down a hole, but uh-huh. the bus got legs and hates to, <laughs> hates to lose. And hates us. Okay, all right, there. <clears throat> and it starts to stand up, and it is coming up the stairs. It's moving at half speed, though. Hey, so when it gets up here, do it again. <laughs> I see no issue with this situation. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, may I make a suggestion? Mm-hmm. Can we go higher? Well, Indeed. That way, if I, mean, I push it off from a higher height, it will have further to fall. So, well, I'm going to ask... kind of have to fight something here first. It's oh, true, well, yes. well, Okay, well, what other enemy is around? The the fucking halberd walls that are trying to kill you. Every oh, the walls themselves! Yes! Oh, lovely! I think when we get to the top, and it finally gets... Because it's fairly slow. Yeah. We'll find a window to push it out of. <laughs> yes. Now, love, check this yes. out. Love... If you shove it 40 feet out a window, it becomes a projectile. <laughs> you assholes. Mm. What? Mm. And then we fling it into K15 and make an <laughs> awful goddamn mess. <laughs> so you want, me to fling, or do you want me to fling it in the general vicinity of Strahd's tomb, thus creating a stone soaring through the air and gathering speed. Also, Mike, yeah. as much as you say there are no windows... Oh, no. We have a wilder. Oh, yes, no. I'll make a window. <laughs> I mean, the feet, the foot speed of a golem's 20 feet. Yeah. His half is 10. I wanted it to be this dramatic thing of, it's coming for you, and you guys are all like, wow, it's really fucking slow. I think we've got this one locked down, guys. We literally move three times faster than it mm-hmm. at a walking pace. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we will just we will think keep of what a mind. ton and a half of metal falling, <laughs> free falling into the castle. Kadoosh! <laughs> All right, so, so wait, you're just going to wait until you get to the very top of the tower and yep. shut its ass again. Yep. And just it. watch it climb up after you and just go, a ba ba a ba ba a ba ba a ba ba Strahd's like, what the fuck is happening up there? <laughs> just <laughs> Strahd's just seething with his goblet somewhere in the castle going, He's <laughs> 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 just sitting there sipping, he's like, <laughs> 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 Like books are falling off, he's like, come on! <laughs> I have been to the same spot for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> like, these guys are not worth this trouble. <laughs> Just read this book. Uh, oh, good news. Uh, good news. Oh, anyway, climbing the tower. Yeah. Yes. These guys are not worth All right, trouble. so uh, what is your uh, movement uh, rate at half? Because if you move at half, you won't have to make any checks to get up there safely. Oh, 15. 15, all of you? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you're going up 15 feet. The halberds will attempt to attack you again. I'm I was going to say, are they attempting to attack us? Then I raise my force shield to increase my DC while we're moving up in half speed. Of course. That's all. So the first yeah. time I pull up my force shield and basically walk up like this up the stairs. Yeah. yeah. So I will roll. I will once again do one roll for all the halberds. I'm going to put my iron golem away because I have a funny feeling he's not going to be a thing for a while. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to add force screen just in case I didn't do it last time. Okay. I'm going to take it full to the face. Does a 22 <laughs> hit any of you? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. 
So that will be 1d10 plus 8? No. Why no? Because, Why are you saying no to me? Because 22 is my AC when I have my shield up. That, so, oh, yeah. so it just doesn't hit you. I thought you were me. saying no, like, no, Michael, you won't harm no, any of oh, my no, friends. No, 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 no. If you that meet, was very misleading, no, Devin, if, if and if very commanding. AC, yes. But if you if you meet the AC, then you hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's shit. So he does. Yes. Right, See, this is the goddamn rule. I told you. We need to write this down. <laughs> I'm gonna get it fucking tattooed on the inside of my arm. Is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> meets either, either or way. attack meets defense yes. equals yeah, win. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Listen, yeah. either way, it's twelve damage. You jackasses. Okay, oh. I spend six points and have no damage whatsoever. All right, what is this magic goddamn character? Psionic it's resilience. I made a wizard. Yes. As an instant action, God damn it. every power point I spend, I, my, I subtract two damage from an incoming source. You're the worst. We're going to break Mike <laughs> by the end of this night. I know. <clears throat> His character is a goddamn tackle box. So if I can do whatever the hell I want. I can do also... damage. No. I need more AC. Done. Done. <laughs> All right. Let's keep climbing this fucking tower. <laughs> so I took the damage. So did he. I, yeah. Then... So we climbed the tower. Yep. Uh, okay, second attempt, you've, you're climbing another 15 feet. Yep. Uh, second attempt, I got a natural 20. Let me roll again. Oh, man. I'm not spending get... points for that. <clears throat> That's going to be a lot. Is it? Does a, twi- does a 20 hit any of you? Nope. Confirm the critical. Dude, I got 12 AC. <sighs> yes. Okay, you two are taking the critical, yeah, which will no. be 2d10 plus 16. What right. the 16? fuck? Oh, Jesus. That's a strong... 2d10 plus 8. Yeah, I... I know how critical rules work. I know. I'm saying it's. I'm saying it's a lot of damage. Thirteen plus sixteen is. is a thick tower. Twi- uh, is twenty nine damage. Yeah. So, what do you all want to do? By the way, the iron gold bef- twenty nine before or after the critical? Sorry. After. After. Yes. So yeah. half that because it didn't. Hit. I'm not doing so hot. I'm yeah, bleeding so profusely that. right now. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, how me do you... too. That hurt. Okay. Actually, you know what? There's something I was planning to happen. Let's see if it happens. Hi or low, gentlemen? Hi. I got a 99. So here's what happens. Is this a good thing? I'm about to explain. You hear a, an odd sound coming from just above you. And it, it sounds like, why? It sounds like a rabble. Rabble, rabble, rabble. rabble. Yes. Yeah, so like, oh, like a group of people? Like a group of people. Angry mob. A peasant mob. And just up ahead, because um, you're not too far up, I'm going to shorten this a little bit, uh, just up ahead you can see torchlight, it, slightly, and you swear you can hear a voice saying, We found, I think we found them! How do you know? Well, I can hear angry <laughs> crashing! It's usually them! It sounds like his mark. <laughs> ahead? Like, further up the further tower? Further up the tower. How did he get up there? How did he get up there? Why don't you go up there and ask? Yeah. So the tower is the tower is responding angrily, and it's it's almost like the halberds are ignoring you to try and get this group of people as they start screaming, "Oh Jesus Christ!" Sorry, not Jesus Christ. Oh, by the morning, Lord, the fucking walls have veins. What is this stupid place? It's a valid concern. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you guys like to choose this opportunity to run the fuck yeah. up? Yeah. 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 All out run. Yeah. Yeah. All out run. All right. Yeah. So. You are running like madmen. The iron golem is, you can't see it because of the darkness effect, but you can hear a angry as it's coming up. Um, all of you make reflex checks because you're going faster up the thing. 20. Could 20. I make an acrobatics check instead? Uh, no, because it's unpredictable how it's happening. Ah, fair enough. 16. You made it? 8. So I'm going to have to 23. Grab that. Someone's going to have to grab that boy. Uh, I'm way. next to him and you're next to him, so it'll probably be us. Yeah. Someone, what, someone, kind of, what kind of roll to grab him? Oh, to grab an idiot falling through the sky. Um, that gonna, check? So how that, about You know what? How about CMB? You're trying to grapple his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, would it be different if it was an intelligent, <laughs> maybe, an intelligent individual falling through the sky? No. Maybe. CMB? Yeah, because you're just oh, trying to was... hook him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, ooh, rolled an 18, so 25. Yeah. Jordan, what's your CMD, technically? 16. He got you. Hey. You just, you feel... <laughs> I'm not this strong! Like, you're the Help. real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> and you make it up to the tower uh, without further incident, as Arena is just running along with you. There is Ismark, and you realize something. At the very top, 
near the top of the tower, there's actually an open doorway that leads to a bridge to the adjacent tower. Oh. oh. Okay. There was an easier way up. Yeah, there was. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> we don't do half measures here. So no, you really don't. Okay. Yeah. And right. the, the, the... We didn't take the big there's a, tower. You see Ismark there, and he's surrounded by a group of 20-some-odd oh. villagers, one of whom is actually the cleric. Hey. Oh, thank the sun. Healing. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> and just as Mark's like, hi, guys. You are a welcome sight. Could you move aside and let the cleric go? <laughs> hey, guys. <get> up. <laughs> also, I only got everybody. Golem. What? Angry iron golem. If we could keep this moving, that would be awesome. What do you mean an angry iron golem? Thud. What about that Thud. is confusing Thud. to you. Thud. 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 Oh. An angry iron golem. It was pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> As they're saying that, you notice that there are dark shapes moving in behind them, coming from the bridge. Mo coming from the opposite bridge? From the bridge, because there's there's the top yeah. of the tower, okay. there's an archway, there's a bridge leading yeah. to the adjacent tower, oh, Okay. and you can see dark shadows are crawling along. From the adjacent tower? Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Um, I'm going to stand it's, it's guard. More, it's more of a thing to keep the villagers occupied. Okay. Oh, we should... Are we going to save them from that? <laughs> That thing that we do. There was something that. Well, are we heroes yet? There, just we're we don't want to discuss this too much because things are happening. But there was something we're here to destroy. Yeah. Yes, I doubt it's the thing that's coming for the villagers. <laughs> no, I get so, that. Yeah. Do we still hear the? <clears throat> oh yeah, it's loud and it's Where? angry. Yeah. Well, funny thing, oh, you as you, because you're on the landing, uh, you should have a map. Uh, for the tower, you can clear all the parts for the tower now. Is that the one? It should be I think one. so. All of K, no. anything that's in K20, because you guys just bolted straight up it. Yeah, that's uh, right there, dude. Map 10. Map 10? K20. The Six, specific eight. landing that you're that's on inspire. has one last stairwell that leads up past a sickening sight. This grisly thing beats in a rhythm that seems to drown out that of your own heart. Gross. Pulsing, squirming, a massive heart is suspended before you, pumping with an unnatural strength. What would be major arteries and veins pump directly into the rock of an overhang that leads to an upper floor. Upper floor. Oh. That's <clears> nasty as <throat> shit, and it's going to smell like barbecue so in here for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get... There we go. And then this. K60. So, I guess K60 is where the heart's at? Yeah, uh, no. Uh, K60 is the room above it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, then yeah. it's in K20. Oh, oh, look, look. Yeah, it's that's it right there. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, in, it's literally in K20. You're in the landing right before it. Uh, at K58 is where all the villagers are. And from K57, you can see vampires coming. Yep, 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 yep. I see. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, fuck it. Yeah, vampires. Well, we would assume. Well, what that else would it be? I don't know. There's a lot of bad things in this place. I would absolutely assume <clears throat> vampires. Uh, uh, so I turn to the cleric. They need healing. Heal them quickly while we yes. go deal with this. Yeah, I don't know what you guys walked through, but the tower we went up was basically a shredding device. Like, well. You guys have kind of murdered a lot of things on the way here. It was actually really easy to get up. That's great for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think You're this welcome. I think this entire castle has been trying to kill shit vampires and the entire group of villagers turns to hey, including the cleric? Yeah. I grab the cleric. G but, my like, yeah. but my flock, but my flock, but my flock, but my flock. I hold up the sword. Doesn't it shine that has yes. a 60 foot radius of light? I you know cuz you used it up for the day, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, cuz you tested it. Fuck. <laughs> These are also your flock. Just a quick okay. moment. <laughs> All right, I need I need Please. I need I need channel positive energy for a level five cleric. Uh, that's a lot. Um, uh, no, three d six. Yeah, three d six. I think. Three d six. Uh, as a level five cleric, right? Yes. So he's gonna cast channel positive energy. We're gonna get you all gonna get three d six hit points back. Nice, nice, Hoorah! Nice. All right, so two, and then I let him go and three, back to the villagers. Six, nine, nine total. Yeah, nine total. Okay, it's something. I rummage through my sack. Yeah. That I have. You mean your direwolf skin? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that you have, you because you guys have been you guys murdered a bunch of direwolves when you first got here. Like we don't talk about where things come from. Okay. <laughs> and you, <laughs> I assume you skinned it, took its legs, tied it off, and made a a, a rock. I made a sweet hat out of him. <laughs> yeah. It's got like Wait, wolf paws and like I've got like a. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, um, you still I, have your familiar too, and that thing has just been along for the ride. Isn't it dead? No, it's alive. No? It's alive. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a familiar I have itself. a familiar already it's a snake I used it one time yeah yep. it's been living in my robes whatever <laughs> anyways um, so I have two not cure, that kind of snake shut up two <laughs> cure moderate wound potions yeah that we have 
Can I found. Can I have one of them? Yes. Okay. So I'll give one to Tom. Yep. And Cure Moderate Wounds, I believe, is 2d8 plus 2. I yes. have to check. Yes? 2d8 yes. plus 2? I believe Let's say yes for now. Let's go for that. I believe it to be. Well, yeah, so 4, and then an 8. Yeah! 12, which uh, plus 2 is another 14, which is better than the cleric. Okay, what's so what's going on, Devin? Uh, you guys just do your I let, as I let, as I let the priest nine. go, I yeah. use sense link on him to share eyesight. So oh, I just... know so I know that both I, I can see what I'm seeing and see what he's seeing just in case things go wrong. Okay. okay. While we're so fighting okay. the heart, <clears throat> I want to be able to see it's like oh shit, something's gone wrong, we need to go help them. I'm still very um, hurt. Yeah. You know, one of you guys could give him the holy symbol of Ravenkind. That would make their life a lot easier. Oh, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> like shove it into him like go do that. Do the thing! Actually, yeah, because that Oh, can... wait! Oh, it's natural light. Wait, wait, wait! Light, yeah. I have cleric scrolls. It's like, just shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Do the boom, boom magic! Dude. Anyway, you and the heart, guys. Time to roll initiative. Oh, I want to make the cleric point the scroll of flame strike at the heart. <laughs> Can't you use it? Yeah, no, it's clerical magic. You, you shoved the cleric away and you gave him everything that was clerical. <laughs> uh, no, no, no magic more sword. grabbing the cleric. You, this is uh, you and the heart. Okay, well, I'm going to try to Rome, wing it then. You, who has used magic device? Yeah. That, then the scroll could have... Uh... I have a four and use magic that's, device. That's a no. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, all right. You know what, Jordan? You could get a 20. I could. Ooh. I don't think I need a 20. Uh, to use magic device on yeah. the scroll? I think I Let have, me check I the use magic it. device rule. <laughs> I yeah. only have a three. Uh, wait, wait, he's roll a twenty plus the caster level. That's the DC. Holy shit! Yeah, fuck no. Exactly. Okay, all right. okay well, that's so. So our skills aren't you gave good her, for that. You gave so. all the cleric yeah. stuff. Yes. To the yeah. cleric. Yeah. Moving on. We run up. Well, you, you don't have to run up. It's right there. You can easily attack it within reach. Oh shit! Okay. All right. Done. So do we roll initiative now? Yes. Okay. Where is my notebook? I, is... I like this dice. Like the, 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 <laughs> I like this dice. It's weighted. Um, <laughs> By chance, is the heart evil? Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, you're not a paladin. It's, oh, it's an evil con outsider. <laughs> no, no, no. no. It's, so, again, if it's evil, it's mega bonus damage yes. with the sword. That's yeah. all. That's that's why it, it's yeah. mechanically relevant. It's also like weapon. 20 feet in the air, dude. No, is it? He's got yeah. a Conan in it. Lay, oh, leap is it 20 feet in the air? Is it? I don't know, like, like it's like very it. clearly like it's huge, suspended. Though. It's massive, like it fills up that whole space. Oh, that's not what the diagram says. You know, the diagram the diagram does it to make it so it's visible. But like I envision this thing as being like fucking fifty feet. If we wide could reach around. it from the okay. stairs, okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. right. it's Done. like the bigger it is, the more horrifying it is. Not to make it. Also, I don't need you guys trying to jump hit it. That would be hilarious. All of us and then falling, the and the iron golem point. catches you, and it turns into a very different kind of game. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna get so gross. All right, so I got twenty. You. Yep. Oh, um, 18. 18? 23. 23, yeah. 24. That will also be... God damn, that's 22. <laughs> okay. all right. I so, go first for the first time. <laughs> Counterclockwise so, on the table all right. yeah. with Ridrin first. Yeah. All right. Let's, we'll, we'll, we'll escalate over time, okay? So I'm going to... Mm. You really don't have that kind of time. Oh, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> you still have fireballs left? It says I've got three. No, you're out. Yeah. Okay. It's then more, I, I think you're out of the slots. Then I wish that I had fireball. Has he used three Fire. fireballs today? But he might have used the slots for fireball. Uh, I yeah. super didn't know. Actually, no, you're a wizard, so you would have yeah. fireball. I do. Rather I, than the slots for I it. I had three yeah. slots for it. Yeah, then. Speaking yeah. up for it. Must have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't fight very much past sleeping last time. No, that's true. I'm sure the fans will mock us if we did our math wrong. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, fireball. Fireball! Fireball! I, this thing doesn't have a reflex save. It's a Actually, let's see. I do. Do I have a reflex save for this? No, I don't. This thing has no... F I was going to say, it's just like... <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Tell you what, I'm going to roll a d20. If I somehow get a 20, it, it gets half damage. I got a 1. <laughs> so does it take more damage? No, because you're a piece of shit. All right. Do your fireball damage. Absolutely. So level 9 fireball. Bow. Yeah, 96, bitch. Not directed at you specifically, just in general. Yeah. Nine. Uh, bitch and excitement. So that's a ten. And that's a nine. Thirty-six damage. You explode your fireball into the heart. And it Three. smells like Korean barbecue it now. It's really bad, actually. <laughs> You're not sure where this thing came from, but it does not smell good. Oh, it's not a pea it's not a meat heart. It might be oh it, there's meat. But oh, you don't know where this comes from, but not, for, not, you've never heard of meat, meat that smells bad when you cook it. Well, you have, because you're from Athens, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we can't eat this one. Reminds Korba, me your go. Okay. Does it have a weak spot? I need to know if I'm adding sneak attack. 
You, no, you it's can't nature. flat foot an inanimate part. That's impossible. But it doesn't have decks. <laughs> it's not able to defend itself in the slightest. It's a giant heart. Technically, the entire thing is a weak spot. <laughs> hey, tell you what, Scott. Higher low. Higher fucking low. High. Two. Does not have a weak spot. You don't get your sneak attack. Damage. Yeah. Oh, or at least for this round, okay? Okay. Remember seeing so no, screw it. Make a perception roll to find a spot to sneak attack at. Anatomy. Cool. Yeah, you That did good. is altogether 30. Fine, you found a fucking thinner section. I remember. Of I hospital found a ventricle. Doc- you found a I remember a hospital documentary where some guy's like, hey. thank God that guy wasn't shot in his heart's weak spot. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no, wow. clearly not. Shit it doesn't happens. exist. The whole thing is a weak spot. Okay, uh, so. Just make your attack roll. Jesus. Yes. yes. Wow. Womp womp. Ah, well. That's only a. That's normal, so that would be a. 18 to hit. I. Uh, you shove your short sword into this horrendous thing only to just feel it press in and not go deep enough. Gross. Uh, it's rubbery. It's very rubbery. <clears throat> Next up, Korvath. Okay, uh, I, will use, I will use Energy Ray. I'm going to cast it at, let's do six Manifestor levels. Sure. So that's 52. You, you really want six. this? You really want I this could do nine because I'm a ninth level character. I hate you to death. Yeah, I know. I, I would do the nine, honestly. This yeah, but, really... but, it's, uh, but if, I, if I Wild Surge, I'll get to nine and it'll be free. But someone who is who the fuck who the fuck designed wild fucking whatever you are chaotic chaotic like wilders to be this fucking broken fuck you with someone who isn't do you say that this thing is an HP sponge a little bit yeah uh, forty so I do not surge so it's still six so it's just it doesn't six. surge thank God well, yeah but like uh, say oh. <laughs> Psionics into themselves are just bullshit. Yeah. Critical miss. Oh, he gave oh, it. Oh, shot to the side? Shot to uh, the natural one. Oh, jeez, yeah. Sh- I somehow missed a 50 foot, foot cross r- heart. Red uh, glowing heart. It's a ranged touch attack, and I technically have a second attack. So, try it again. Blast. So, yeah, one blast just goes <laughs> off to a wall. How the fuck? <laughs> what is this horse shit? Ranged touch attack. I'm a high enough level that I have two attacks. All of us do. That's you should have two attacks. No, no, I have two attacks. You can cast twice. It's it... a sta- oh standard action. Yeah. yeah, I was. I almost cheated there. Sorry. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Is it a standard action to use the power? It's a standard action. Yeah, to use you're the done. Power. Dude, if you'd yeah. gone through with that and that was on the rules, I'm I'm playing a psionic forever. No, <laughs> no, it's true because we had re- we moved. We Moving ran on. up to it. So yeah. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Um. Am I next to it within striking distance? Yes. What is good? This? Yes. Full <laughs> attack <laughs> action <laughs> with power attack. Go for it. Woo! Please don't chuff it. I'm really hoping not to. <clears throat> it hits it. It's so rubbery. It bounces off and clocks him in the head. God fucking damn it. Um, 18. No, wait. So, why is that? Oh, yeah. No, no. That's right. 20. Boing. Try harder, Kudal. <laughs> it's a magic heart. It's now the one. heart's turn to oh, attack. Full attack like, whoa. I get a second one. Yes, of course. Pause. What? Heart's turn to attack. Yeah. I know, right? Is it going to beat menacingly? Yeah, yeah I know. Exactly. It would be a horrific like, beast. <laughs> no, the halberd's in the wall. It's going to body You're like, check us. how does it attack <laughs> us? And then the halberds come off the wall. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> so it's been attacking us. Now it's going to expand from the beat and it body slams us. All right. <laughs> Four. That's effective. <laughs> Plus 18. Does a 22 hit any of you? Yes. 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 Uh, no. Okay. 24. All right. So let's say four plus eight. Twelve damage. Oh. Top of the round. Can I render everyone? Yeah. Damn. If you Dang. if I hit you. Yeah. It's the same as the blades last time. The blades were all around us, so it's one attack for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Red ring up. Okay, so when I cast the fireball on the heart, was it like were there scorch marks and did it do a lot of damage oh, yeah. or was it like that it kind of shrugged it off and kept no no it, it took the damage there's just a lot of HP behind this thing yeah I know I wanted to kind of get an idea of like how effective yeah. that was or should... you can roll knowledge nature and try and deduce how much knowledge nature giant heart yes <laughs> <laughs> you live in the desert if there's one thing you know it's burn marks also how to kill it <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good argument, Mike. Yeah, Thank that, you. that is. That is. It's like yo, I see these things in forests all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is a third degree burn right there that I just did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. So knowledge, nature for giant. If the arts. GM allows it, the GM allows Twenty it. total. You probably have done about a seventh of its hit points. Seventh. 
Woo! That's we mathematically this accurate from nature. <laughs> <laughs> how about you shut the fuck up and kill this thing? I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Jeez, he's just <clears> hanging? Hmm? Yeah, oh. it's hanging. Oh no, he's got an idea. <laughs> oh. It's <laughs> worth trying. Let's give that something. This idea is going to piss me off. Let's give the golem a friend. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's the same age. The... Okay. No, dude, it's going to drop on the villagers. No, 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 no they're no, across they're, the way. They're, they're doing. They're, they're, dude, they're oh, over they here. Right. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to try oh. and cut off all the things at the top and make it drop. Just a quick thing. Yeah. By the way, you're sensing like, the villagers are fighting back the vampires with like torches and alchemist fire. Are they, they, are they using the holy symbol that casts light? Not yet. It hasn't gotten that bad yet. Well, good for them. They're handling, sure. yeah, they're yeah, holding okay. their own. Okay. It's, it's right. very dynamic. It's in a less comedic game. It would be the final, the great uprising of the people finally resisting against Strahd amidst rain and hope and desperation yes. and all of that. But you guys are a pack of assholes, and I just don't want to put that kind of effort in tonight. So, <laughs> <laughs> so really, it looks like I no like the idea of yes. that. Yeah. I like they're holding their own against the like the cadre of vampires. I'm like, damn, that's that's, cool. that's damn cool. That's yeah. cool. That's okay. Damn cool. Yeah. I wanna, if I only they they needed to know that there was even a possibility of a chance. To stand up to Strahd. Moving on. You see what we do? I hope that we finish with the heart and we're able to assist them, because I want to be part of that action. <laughs> Anyways. Mm -hmm. I want to fireball me some vampires, because they suck. All right. So, <clears throat> okay, so Scapadouche no. again? I want to see... Where the people are? That's it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, oh, wait, that was seven points. 51. <laughs> possibly, like, a knowledge roll, possibly engineering, is if... If it's even possible to dislodge this thing from its weird perch in the ceiling. Okay, go ahead. Is that doable? The roll is doable. Well, I know that, but like physically, is that possible? Oh, nine. You have no idea whether or not if you could destroy enough of the stone to break it free. That's Would fair. you like to try and tell us? Well, it was your idea. Well, that's one roll. Did you want? That's your action. So you're done. Yes. And you're working on the knowledge of it's not possible to dislodge the stone. He doesn't know if it's possible yeah, to exactly. dislodge it. Well, because yeah. you mentioned you're like, yeah. oh, like maybe we can have it fall, like it's hanging. Yeah, I'm like, oh I'm... shit, yeah. And then like I look and see yeah. if it's doable. And like, it's pretty anchored up there. Oh yeah, yeah. So no, can't do that. Because keep in mind the veins, the arteries and veins go into the tower down and. In... Yeah, like it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty anchored up there. Good okay. idea though. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. Idea. Next up, idea. Corba. Okay. I'm glad I wasted my. I'm still gonna get a sneak attack. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I was going to use energy Full attack, mystic, which is my version of magic. I'm assuming you've walked around and you're flanking it. Well, yes, I have flanked. Yeah. Oh, yay, I, I'll get flanked now. You're welcome. Thank you. So glad okay, we flanked so a giant immobile heart. That's going to be... <laughs> Takes effort. He had to Off run hand, up the rest of the stairs. Get to the opposite side. Yeah, guys, I want to hear what you're saying. That's going to be 28 to hit. That'll hit. Cool. Sorry that's about one. That. Let's get the other two. A critical failure on my offhand. That's the last hit, though. And that's going to be 21 to hit. That won't hit. Jesus. That One hit. AC on this thing. I can deal with that. Yeah. That is... It's got big fleshy tubes. 1d6, 2d6, 3d6, 4d6, 5d6. It is not my study target, so... Do something. 21 damage. You've cut into it, and it's now bleeding out badly. Gross. You could nice. say we are... Closer to the heart of the matter. Everyone here is fired. <laughs> exactly. Except me, because I didn't do it. Now then. <laughs> I wasn't even part of it. All right. Well, since we decide, since you advise us, like eh, it's pretty lodged in there, I'm not going to use energy missile, and I'll just try an energy raid again. Let's see. Yep. Let's do helpful. another six points. Do I surge? Surge. I do. That yeah. Brings me to Jordan, let us talk. Through. I want to hear yeah. what he's doing. He's surging. surging. He's surging. Which brings three. me to three. That is increased by three. Okay. Um, I will be dazed for one round after this, but I go up to Manifesto level nine. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's what I was yep. cheering for. Oh, Devin. <laughs> Fuck it. Roll again. Roll again. Did you miss? Did you miss? Uh, well, uh, unless a ten would hit it. Roll a oh, fuck okay. again. That's stupid. Yeah. Wait. Ten versus touch AC. Okay. It doesn't versus... have touch AC. It's just that's its AC. That's what I was worried about. No. Whenever, whenever he said that we're bouncing off of it, and it's that dense. But oh fuck, it doesn't have a touch. It AC. does has no touch. Yeah. It's, it's touch AC. Is so AC. that would be a total of uh, twenty four. No, Tw twenty three. You are flaking it. Thank God. Twenty five. You got it. <laughs> oh, okay. Shot to the heart. <laughs> you're to blame. <laughs> All right. This twice you, plus once. You did this. <laughs> no, Tracy and Laura Hickman did this. Right, I just me, chose. Me, 18, 19, 
Twenty. Twenty. Nineteen plus nine. Nineteen plus nine. Um, Twenty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. Forty. Uh, Forty-four. Forty-four. Thank you. Forty-six. Fifty-six. Fifty-six damage. Oh, oh damn it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You, what, is that kinetic? Uh, it's fire, because I have to choose a type of energy, so I make it fire, uh, and I am dazed, so I, I, uh, I slump back against the wall. Yeah, where there's halberds. <laughs> hmm? Where there's halberds. Yeah, well, yeah but exactly. You, so, but yeah, yeah, this massive ripple of fire energy shoots out from you with incredible force, burning into this thing. If it could scream, it would. The walls, the stairs shake. Scott, you're up on the stairs. Please make a reflex roll just to not get shaken <laughs> off of it. <laughs> Nice. I don't think I'm going to move with a 21. You're fine. But yeah, it's just the wall, the stairs shake and yep. shudder. You have badly hurt this thing. Next up, could one. Okay. Yes. Could nice one, slump. do something. Oh, against the wall. <clears throat> Try to um, jam your axe in the hole. <laughs> All right. Slap I'll... it, shit. Sun sword. It. Sun sword, hitting it. No, I'm not. Wow. Roll again. Oh. Fuck this stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take Not that? much better. Wow. No, screw it. Roll again. This is stupid. Well, no, no. Uh, th this actually would be a 25. Okay, so then you'll hit. <laughs> Can I take 20? No. Can I take it? <laughs> this That's is stupid. Hold on. It's a giant immobile heart. It should not be this hard to hit. Spend the fucking hour just trying to hit it. 30, uh, 36 damage. <sighs> Nicely done. On my first hit. Do I need a second? Yeah. <laughs> Nope, 21. Yeah, that misses. I gave you one hit, because... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fair, so, that's fair. You're the being halberd, very generous. I'm being very generous, because, you know, I rolled a natural one on the halberd's attempt to hit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all you just see is these halberds just all shoot out of the wall and shake like a fucking shitty Halloween. <laughs> shitty Halloween. Just like, go, shh, jiggle, 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 jiggle. Oh, God, guys, they're back. being spooky. <laughs> Besides, you guys have to kill this thing before the iron golem gets up here. But anyway, um, He's we have turns. It. You have turns. It's been like six seconds. He is angry. Um, it's been twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Ridrin. Yeah. All I can really think to do is to put a fireball into the hole that. Yeah. That's that you've made. that's a perfectly viable strat. <laughs> I, I burn a hole. You make it worse. And now the heart burn out. Oh god. <laughs> Look, I have to make it worse. <laughs> you really did. <sighs> okay. Hang on, that was in the camera sight line. No, I can feel the audience flipping me off. <laughs> I can feel hundreds of people. Yeah, really literally being, hundreds of people. Really being upset with me right now. Yes. Well, I'm over. You can yeah. hear all the YouTube comments coming in over the next couple of months. Just going, boom. <laughs> it's warranted. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well um, deserved of this. It's warranted. Yep. Uh, so fireball! What's, what DC does he need to make? Because it's a is oh, it reflex, sure. reflex, save. reflex save. Like twenty. I don't have a reflex save. Yeah, you don't even have a reflex hit. save. Yeah. You don't roll the hit. No, fireball. Just, just, roll, yeah. just roll your damage. Yeah. yeah. I just kind of like drop it gently into the hole. Three pointer fade for three. For three. Is we're geeks. Why the fuck are we making a basketball <laughs> reference? Because it's stupid and we're yes. stupid. <laughs> yes. So ten, forty, five. 35. 35. Uh, what? 30. 32. 32. Jordan, your fireball cascades into this thing. It is near death. Nice. It is burned. It is singed. Holes are leaking out. Black blood. Corba. Yeah, let's bring it home. I have to. That is offhand misses. That's going to be a... 25. 25? Yeah. That'll hit. Cool. That's one. Last two. Seriously, main hand likes me. That's 16. Plus By the way, didn't you get a one 20. on one of your rolls? Yeah. That was yeah, that, that dagger fell out of your hand and landed at the bottom of the, the tower. Okay, cool. No. It's, it's there <laughs> well, he's been rolling accordingly for his yeah. offhand afterwards, so. Well, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. just like, yeah. <laughs> he's punching. All right. It. <laughs> it's like, yeah, hit that. Okay, so that's so 16. So used to having that second one there. 22. 24 will hit. Yeah. Two hits. Two main hands. <laughs> yeah. I need more D6s. How dare you take my D6s? <laughs> They're mine, asshole. <laughs> okay, does it have DR? No. Good. I'll roll it all together. Yep. 
six. It's 47 damage. With your first slice, you jab your blade into this heart between the uh, walls, between the different the or- sacks. The aorta of- walls? Yeah. yeah. Heart <laughs> pieces. <laughs> sections of the heart, but it's still beating between oh. the knife blades. Oh. You cut it down one side and another, and as you do, it's still beating, but the beats oh. rip the heart apart. Oh. Yes! Uh, An ugly uh, uh, gout and torrent of blood surges out from this new open wound, and it splits. That it splits <laughs> all the way up through the arteries and veins, oh. down the sides of the wall of the tower, all the way down to the base. And a massive gush of blood as each vein and artery of this horrific nightmare tower rips open and douses the space with blood, yourselves included. And an ugly and unholy roar of fury comes up from the basement of Castle uh, Ravenloft. Oh, we done make a man. Oh, God. And, it's a but wait, the heart. but wait, there's more. <laughs> this torrent of blood is going to be creating some slippery slope for yes, the uh, golem. And just as you see the golem come up, <laughs> up there the stairs go. to see you and meet you, the gout just hits him. He slips his foot and falls again. Can he go down the slayers like a toboggan? Just... <laughs> oh, what was that toy from our childhood? Like a slip and slide? Slip and slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slip and slide. <laughs> and goes and flying, flying off into the cat. Smashing sound as it crashes into the ground below. <laughs> I would say that's satisfying, but I'm... <laughs> and, and there's actually a quick Six flash... Seconds. There's actually a quick flash of light behind you, and you hear the screaming of several vampires as they are immolated in sunlight. Woohoo! You yeah, see the clerics yeah. hold up the holy symbol of Ravenkind. Nice. Good job, buddy. As a brief moment of silence hits, and you four with Arena, who was helping the villagers, by the way, to explain where she was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, conveniently. <laughs> conveniently. Well, she was like, hmm, heart tower that they've got. Vamp, vamp. <laughs> I choose to believe that you have this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just see everyone lets up a loud cheer on the battlements of Strahd's castle. Arena and Ismark are embracing each other as brother and sister would. And just patting each other on the back. And there's joy, there's tears, there's victory. And then we show up soaked. You guys are covered in blood and everyone just stops. Ooh. Hey! <laughs> yeah! uh, oh, God. And you have dealt... At long last. I don't cheer. I'm horrified as it's starting to dry. <laughs> a serious, <laughs> don't you a serious blow do have to the Lord of Castle Ravenloft as th- the thunder breaks and rain starts washing down on all of you. Oh, oh, thank God. God. oh my God! God. I hold my mouth open to the sky. Don't to drink, drink the water! Oh my God! <laughs> We've had worse. As if to <laughs> wash away the sins of this horrid place for the first time in centuries. I'm one of those parasites now. <laughs> That's a thing with water? How so, would we know? Don't drink the right water. Gentlemen, we would you have know. a brief moment of respite. Would you like to rest for the night? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I thought the tower was collapsing around us. No, it just it just ripped. It's all very horrific. And oh, okay. Then yes. Bloody. Yes. The, the heart on the land ripped into. The heart and all the veins and all that is ripped out. The castle cool. structure itself is still intact. Yes, oh, I would. It's going to be so gross. Yeah, don't make them like they used to. All right. Can we get that uh, cleric to uh, pass around some serious healing now? The vill- Ismark and the villagers are more than willing to let you all rest and protect you and Arena for the night hey. as the cleric heals you through your sleep. I fall face first onto the ground and immediately start snoring. <laughs> Good night. Don't let the bed pyres bite. Because <laughs> they will. Be careful. And you down. fall asleep as the sun rises on Ravenloft. You will be sleeping through the day yeah. to rest. Okay. Glad we're only active when he is active. So full healing? Mm-hmm. Yay! Yay. However... You guys fell asleep. Damn it. Oh. Bring it. It is time for one last dream. All right, serious phase. Here we go. You awaken. You are back in Strahd's dining hall. This time, rather than a full banquet spread, each of you has a cloche set before you. A cloche set is, uh, you know how when they have, they're have they serving plates and there's a cover on it? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's a cloche set? That's a cloche nice. set. Oh, so it's no. like, it's the... I did not know what it was called. Neither did I. I there's a note in here saying I have to explain it to you guys what a cloche set is. Uh, <laughs> Rightfully so. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, you know how it's on a platter and there's yeah, 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 that, the cloche yeah, yeah. is the thing that covers it. Okay. At the end of the table is Strahd. His affable nature gone. All that remains is the fury and disappointment of the dread lord, the devil Strahd. You overwrought jack and apes! Why? I have offered you every opportunity to avail yourselves of my generosity, and this is how you repay me? 
rummaging through my castle like rats, stealing what you like and defiling the rest? Yes. You can you and for once in your dreams you can actually participate. So I, I, that's what I say. I, you can't seem to move from your chairs in any way. I prefer <laughs> raccoons. <laughs> so it, yeah, it, uh, I, it takes I, me a moment. I hold to up my hands and wiggle my fingers. You, you, can't, you can't move your hands. Oh, that's right. I can't move. Um, your bodies are stuck, but you can still talk. Yeah. And We're more like raccoons. It's like, um, of course, yes. It takes me a moment before I actually reply because I realize to yeah. realize that I can actually talk. Am I able to realize that other people are, like are you guys? Yeah, I it's all four of you are together, yeah. but in the same dream. Yeah, that's okay. I'm weirded out by that immensely. Yeah, you are each sitting at that table. It's right back like the first time you met him, and right. you can all see each other. You must be is that really some... you or dream you? No, you don't it's know. Like... It's a goddamn dream. That's the horror of it. I'm looking at you like. All right, fine. I'll continue with the dream. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had thought these dreams would show you to your true nature that all your posturing and moral blather was nothing in the face of what you were capable of. It's clear you are nothing more than a pack of idiot thugs following a moral whim. I thought that was obvious, not inaccurate. <sighs> we follow our true selves. We always have. You made a mistake. You harmed Ergos. You harmed a member of our tribe. We'll tear down this castle brick by fucking brick and then tear you limb from fucking limb for daring to touch him. We're coming. And you well. won't enjoy it. Ostrad. Well. Ostrad. I'm sorry for my... Well, oh, I can't Shannon's move my hands. What I just said. <laughs> can't move my hands, so this won't work as well. So, Ostrad, I understand you're a bit hurt. We've been through your castle. We've ruined your tapestries. We destroyed your main hall. Oh, boy, did we. And, uh... Much like we Tatiana, we broke your heart. Oh. oh! If I could high-five you, I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, then. We when we wake up tomorrow, we'll finish the job. We sort of shrug shoulders as you a high-five. <laughs> you shouldn't have brought us back. We're going to show you what this tribe does to people who truly fuck with us. Very well, then. Let it be war. Come to me, interlopers. I'll not run. Face me well and know that whatever darkness is in your souls... You wish to, if you wish to cleanse it by robbing me of my prize, I assure you of this. The only outcome of a life of violence is more of the same, regardless of the morality. Mark me well, men of a- for, from Athos, for I am the result of your choices. Bitch, we're from Athos. <laughs> this is, you're a B-plus villain there at best. <laughs> Strahd, as you make that comment, Strahd pauses. Bitch of course, Athos. you would go against the nature of these dreams that you have to wake up Peacefully, would it not? He gestures to the cloches before you. Eat well. One's last meal should be memorable. Is it a head? Each of you reach for the covering and pull it off only to reveal an empty plate. And yet, as you take in the sight, each of you has a different reaction. And your bellies feel full, as if you've already eaten. Ridrin, you feel it. The horrid taint of defiling. Somehow, you feel this awful thick liquid filling up your stomach, stretching it, pushing it upward to your throat. As it reaches your head, you touch your eyes, only to reveal inky black liquid of defiling taint leaking from them. Not only that, your ears, nose, and mouth are flowing over with the feeling of the corrupting touch of power, and you are drowning in it. Kunwan, you feel the heavy fatigue of exertion penetrating your limbs, each attempt to move as if it were a thousand battles. You can see your body going pale, your fingers tremble with weakness, your vision is going dark, you feel as if you are falling inside your own body, a massive cavernous tomb that you are getting lost in, just as the light of outside is finally going out. Corvath, you feel another wild surge, only this time you cannot seem to release the power. It's collecting and cascading over and over in your brain, making you quake so hard you think your teeth will shatter. You're unable to hold back the strain. It's pushing out your mind, your thoughts, your newly formed memories of your past. All of you is burning away in this wash of power that was never yours to master. Korba. Bring it. You (laughs) You almost don't feel the first blade, but a wave of cold comes up between your ribs and you realize you've been stabbed. Not just there either, but under your arms, at the hollow of your neck and shoulder, your kidneys, your hamstrings. Countless stabbings in the dark, each one aimed for a vital, each one designed to make you bleed out and die like a stuck pig. Amidst this horror, you can hear Strahd say, See you soon, boys. And you wake up. (sighs) 
I wake up, I immediately start flexing just to see, like, am I, am I still strong? Am I, am I, am I good? Yeah, I, d- I do similar. I, I do very... I, I channel and then stop. Oh. And try to channel and then stop. For the first time, I wake up and I'm immediately in my book. And I'm very, very quiet. Yeah. And I'm like that for quite a while. And then I kind of finish with my spells and I turn to my tribe mates and I look them all in the eye. I'm like, this is getting old. I'm done here. We're ending this now. I try and channel, see whether I surge. I do not surge, so I maintain control of it, defying the dream and the truth of it. I'm going to say, thank God you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh, oh, can you not? Well, <laughs> like, no, seriously, like, this is, this. Is, I've had enough. Like, Agreed. this is enough. We finally have our freedom, and he thinks he can take it from us? No. Around you is the people of Barovia who are waking up with you, make, make, w- making sure you're safe. Um, they're waiting your orders and instructions, and we will find out how this adventure concludes in the next and hopefully final episode of D20 Live's long game, The Tribe Ravenloft. Oh, and I may remember what the hell, and I may explain to you guys what happened to Darren, who, uh, sorry, <laughs> Caster, the other member of your tribe that you bewitched from the previous episode, and you'll get to see what happened to him. It's going to end bloody one way or another. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm Big Mike. I'm Scott. I'm Jordan. Tom. Devin. See you next time.